Hello everyone, welcome to Pwn TV. This is your host, Mr. Overgriff, and I'm going to do something extra special for you guys to get me back in the spirit of Final Fantasy XI. I'm going to look at some screenshots of this game and talk to you guys about them. So let's do a slideshow. Yay! Okay, so this is a screenshot I took in Mora with me and a bunch of red mages. These are some of my favorite red mages and favorite players on Azura, and I want to eventually get another picture on Azura with a bunch of red mages all together, preferably all Tarus. I'm sorry if you're not a Taru, I probably don't want you in my photo. I mean, if you're a Mithra, maybe maybe that will work, but yeah. Or Hume, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know, all right? It'll happen when it happens, and however it happens, it's just gonna... Okay. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let's move on. Okay, this is a picture I took a long time ago where I got a Lionheart for the first time, and so I was waving it around. Um, fun note, the hat that I'm wearing, for those of you who might not know, that is Matt's cap. That's the reward for beating Matt on all 15 original jobs that you could fight him on. And I did that um, on multiple characters because it's a lot of fun. And this was no exception, right? And the body armor that I'm wearing in this uh, image is called Nzinga Kiris. It is a drop from, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say Kirin and Koryu from Asha Ruan. It might also be a drop from Ward of Courage, but I think it's actually from Kirin and Koryu. All right. This is a picture of a bunch of guys in an alliance that I was part of that uh, the uh, party wasn't going so well, and I guess um, I guess I was underperforming as the red mage in the party. Uh, I thought I was doing really well in this group, but this was an omen run, and uh, well, nobody raised me. Nobody at all raised me. And when I saved this, I left myself a note to remember these names because they're gonna get their just desserts one day. Because one day they're gonna need a raise, and I'm not gonna give it to them. But anyway, yeah, the party leader basically said, Don't raise anybody that's dead. They said that, and the guys that died were not gonna get any raises. It was demanded. Uh, mostly just me. Mostly just me. Uh, the party leader is dead in this image. But, um, I, I don't know if I took this before or after, but I was pretty pretty sure, if memory serves me correctly, I was actually, um, KO'd for the entire event, and we kept going up to more floors, and I never got a raise, and it was because that uh, party leader did not like the way I played Red Mage. This goes back to way, way back a decade ago, with, uh, the 2007 Red Mage Melee, you know, that nobody liked. I was doing that, and I was, uh, if I may say so myself, I thought I was doing a fantastic job, but they just simply didn't like the style of Red Mage that I brought to their Omen group, so they punished me by not raising me. Sad, sad, sad day for me, I guess. But yeah, so I took this picture just uh, to serve as a reminder. Maybe, probably don't party with some of these guys. Um, a lot of them in this group, though, they did apologize to me. Um, they said they were just doing what they were told by the leader and the leaders I don't raise, so as you can see here, the leader is dead, so he was probably salty uh, because he died. Um, that might be my fault, I guess, I don't know. Moving on. This is a picture, um, I don't know, I, I have these pictures I probably don't remember much about, but this is a picture right out in front of Einerger. I'm taking my, uh, what looks like my Beastmaster, should be my Beastmaster, because they typically take Beastmaster to Einerger, but this looks like the tunnel that leads to Einerger, which is an in-game event that helps you develop your mythic weapons, because you have to farm 100,000 Therian Iker in order to get a mythic weapon completed, because you need to get the, uh, Balren Eye Patch from, uh, uh, an NPC in Nashma. And that eye patch cost a hundred thousand Fairy Niker. So I spend a lot of time in this zone. I don't know why I took a picture, but there we go. Oh look! It's Finrear! So many Finrears! Oh my god! It's just too adorable! Okay, so this is basically a bunch of Finrears, um, but I believe that it's just me and a friend. We came up with this crazy idea when they released the Finrear mount 
when we finally discovered that as a summoner, the avatar follows us around while we're mounted. So I summoned the Finrear avatar, right? Which is the glowy green one in the background. And I got on my Finrear mount, which is the glowy blue one in the foreground. And I was invisible because that's how we did it. We just went in biz and did this so we could not be seen. And so, yeah, I got a bunch of people together to, like, march around outside of, um, uh, what's the zone? Uh, the new place. The new place, you guys! The big place! With the, with the things! Uh, the colonization reefs and such! Oh, it'll come to me one day! Probably not in this video! More Finrears! Oh my god! I can't handle it! Okay, so here's a picture of, um, uh, uh, Juno? Yes, we're in Juno. This is Rude Gardens. And as you can see, there's some party chat echoing, telling me a little bit about Gear Swap. Oh boy, I use Gear Swap. Punish me, please. Oh, daddy, harder. Anyway, so I'm using, uh, in this image, I'm using, I believe, still the, uh... The Nzinga Curious. I want to say that's still what I have on as the body armor, and I'm using the um, the helmet that you get from fighting Proto Omega and Proto Ultima, I believe. All right, and I believe I'm also on my Beastmaster here. Not sure why I took this photo. I think I was just testing my screenshot capability. Yeah, and I have a pretty funny little pink pearl on my character. This is actually the Link Pearl that, uh, well, it's technically a Link Shell. I created a Link Shell about a year or two ago called Skittles because the name Skittles, well, Skittles is a pretty good candy, right? I had some friends that really liked Skittles at the time. They were always talking about Skittles, and so I had some motivation to try that candy name as a Link Shell name on this server, and it actually went through, so I just made it, colored it the color of a pink skittle I guess and fun fact this is the exact shade or the closest shade of pink that I could come up with while making the pearl while making the actual link shell I actually modeled this color off of the color of the toll fair mount I have a toll fair mount a toll fair is like a flying phoenix mount that you can have in this game and they are all different shades of red and pink and one of the colors of, I believe, the wing of the Toll Fair is this exact shade of pink. To the best of my ability, I copied it when I made this Link Shell. And it is the Skittles Link Shell. I believe I still own the Link Shell, but I don't think I use it. I might have actually tossed it out, you guys. So feel free to make Skittles good again. This is another picture, I think, of the same thing. More pictures of the same thing. What else do we got? Oh dear, it's a black screen. Let's see, lots of pictures of me standing with my back to the camera. Okay, here we go. So here's a picture. I don't know what's going on here. I see Rife in the uh, party chat, in the um, in, in the uh, actual Say chat channel. It's called slash S-A-Y Say. And he's talking, he's saying stuff. And uh, I guess we got into a conversation that I thought was worthy of a screenshot. So let's read it together, yay! Hi, Rife. I've heard good things about you. And, like I give a fuck. Ha, <laughs> XD. Is it true that you have a crooked penis? Yes. Sweet, me too. All the better to rub against your prostate. <laughs> Come on over to my place, I'm easy. Okay, Rife uses sneak attack. Fantastic! Alright, good times, good times. Okay, look, it's the Toll Fair where I made my Skittles color! See, look, there he is! This is my Beastmaster using Swooping Zivago? Swooping Zivago! And I'm next to uh, my Mule, which is my friend's tune that I just play since he's no longer playing the game. And this is Darth Crexus on his Geomancer. We got him some good Geomancer gear, and I believe we are outside of... Uh, Juno in, uh, doesn't look like, is it Bosidin Glacier? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the entrance to Dynamis. Uh, it might even be the entrance to Dynamis because, I don't know, maybe I went to Dynamis. I don't know, you guys. Tell me if you know what zone this is actually where I took this picture. I can see part of the, um, 
the uh, dragon skeleton back here that's all throughout Vanadil. There's this big serpent uh, backbone that you can see, and there's usually a lot of um, weapons, like the creature type weapon is just walking around, it's a killing weapon, uh, things like that. Um, pretty cool little dudes, and they run around all of these bones, uh, typically. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure exactly where we're at. I want to say Dynamis. I don't remember the name of the zone. Uh, kind of reminds me of Bosidian Glacier, though. Right? So maybe that's what it is. Oh dear, no! Our slideshow, come back! Okay, next! Alright, so what do we have here? Well, we're in town because we died? I think we died and warped back. Okay, so we were fighting uh, Siryu. Siryu from Asha, obviously, because we died at level 119. And, oh, this is Adolin. Ah, yes, that's the correct name for this zone. Adolin! This is West Adolin. And so I'm sitting uh, next to Greenleaf Nymph, which is a really cool character, has a great summoner, and a lot of other jobs. A fantastic, overpowered guy, and he's AFK right here in his little goblin costume. And I just warped back to town after I died and popped in right next to him. But I believe I took this screenshot because I was, uh, because I was stealing from Seryu and I got a Kobo Noi Buki, which is, uh, some item that you can throw at other things, and it does stuff. I don't know. I also did the spoil on Seryu, um, and I, I think I scrolled up here, yes. So maybe I only took this screenshot because I stole from Seryu, but it's also possible that I took this screenshot because Divtro was defeated by Seryu. I don't know how this turned out. As you can see, the, um actual bar for the chat log is about halfway up so there's a lot more chat down here that I you don't see in the screenshot so I'm pretty sure I just did it for the steel thing here let's move on oh look Shantaru's right here too yay all right so here I am trying to log out in Esha I guess I was probably running late for work it happens right I'm using my little goblin outfit I have my cool little uh, sword I believe it's the Lionheart sword it might not be it might be a Zulfikar kind of looks like a Zulfikar from this angle and this was kind of an older photo so it's possible that it's a Zulfikar maybe I'm playing warrior or rune fencer oh no I've got in I've got mana so I'm probably playing rune fencer here and I'm using a goblin outfit which I recall using a lot before I got Nazinga Curus which was around the same time I got Lionheart so maybe this isn't Lionheart that I had equipped it's hard to tell because it's cutting through the uh, backpack uh, on the graphics here for the goblin costume the, it's pretty interesting the sword actually is packed inside of the backpack so that's that okay here's another picture where I obtained a Lu Shang's fishing rod hooray yay I got a Lu Shang's fishing rod so I got a Lu Shang's fishing rod um, after I returned a broken fishing rod that I actually got, fun fact, from a gobby box with an SP gobby key. I still am halfway through with the actual Lu Shang quest to get my own fishing rod, but I just won one from the uh, gobby box. It was a broken one, so I just did the quest to repair the broken one. Meanwhile, the quest to actually get the original one is halfway complete, not even done yet. So I could eventually one day have a second Lu Shang's fishing rod, and let's be honest, who doesn't want to dual wield Lu Shang's fishing rods? All right, so what else do we have here? Oh no. Oh no. There we go, that's a good song. Let's put this one on. Okay, so here we are. Um, me taking pictures with my eyes closed. I've always been uh, uh, terribly unphotogenic, I suppose. But I guess so is that um, Ariman in the corner there because his eyes are also closed. Oh, excuse me, his eye is also closed. Um, so, uh, I don't know, I took this photo, I, I guess I was, what was I doing here? Uh, I was being hit with the uh, evil eye, and uh, what else? Uh, oh, King of Hearts did Farago 4, which magic bursted for 3600 points of damage. On two different targets, it hit the eye for 1500, and it hit the uh, target that we were fighting for... for, for Führer! Mine Führer! I'm actually recording this on 420, so I I hit Hitler for 3635. Yeah, get wrecked, Führer! <laughs> so yeah, oh and I did a, a light skill chain here. Yay! And I did Rudra Storm for 50,000 damage! Hooray! So I did a lot of stuff. Things happened. Clearly I was playing Thief here. So yeah, sneak attack Rudra Storm for all the damage. Yeah. Alright, next 
it looks like I was uh, either zoning in or zoning out. And uh, yeah, that, that picture didn't really come through, did it? All right, what's next? Okay, slideshow, show me what's next. What we got? Oh, look, I'm on my thief again. I'm fighting a thunder elemental right near uh, King Behemoth uh, pop area in Behemoth's Dominion. I just killed Behemoth. I got a savory shank and a thundercloud. Hey, guys, I got a savory shank from Behemoth. That means that I can use it to pop King Behemoth. I probably did Behemoth and King Behemoth a good 500 to 1,000 different times before I got the drop. And then I did it on my friend's account, and I got it one for one, and I was super salty. I even got back-to-back -back defending rings one day, and I was like, wow, I spent literally two years to get my first defending ring, and then I get back-to-back -back defending rings? Are you serious? So now all of my accounts have defending ring. Hooray! Really strong item. Okay, so this is a picture of me and my mule. Uh, fighting with a friend of mine, uh, Ipsen. He's a pretty cool guy. Geostorm's also a really cool guy. It looks like I was here to try to help them do some stuff. And uh, we did Intuilla, which is a Unity Concord uh, quest. And we killed him and got some Intuilla's coffers. And, well, Geostorm's got the Nourishing Earring, which I guess is one of the chase rare items that you get from the coffer when you fight Intuilla. I don't know, pretty easy fight, pretty fun fight. Lots of different fights you can do with the Unity Concord system to actually spend your uh, Unity Accolades to actually get some pretty cool loot. This is one of them, quite easy to do this, and uh, just a whole lot of fun in general. Look at that Darkness skill chain. Oh yeah, 59,000 damage with the Darkness skill chain. Super good. Okay, what else we got? This is another mule that I made one day. I was just like, hey, listen, I want to try to make a really cool name. Uh, kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself. Let's do it. Everyone says you're going to get banned and have your name changed. And I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I log in this guy once a day to use his, his behemoth suit and to use his tiara and all these other active item armors that he has. And hey, in this screenshot, I successfully got a Beastly Shank from the Behemoth Suit Plus One. Hooray! That's exactly the item I was trying to get with all of the Behemoth Suit Plus Ones that I have on all of my mules. And I finally got it. Okay, this next picture looks like Abyssy. I have Bastia in my party. He's a pretty cool new dude. And he's, um... He's playing with his wife, which is Bastiara, and they're uh, they're really just living life in some Abbasy, and I'm just trying to help them out. Um, I don't know what job I'm playing. I have a lot of TP, so I'm probably playing Thief, right? Okay, so maybe I'm playing Thief, and uh, and I'm just helping these guys farm for their uh, for their quests to get their uh, their items. And I believe the item that they were getting was like the Almace Sword. I want to say. It could have been a lot of different things, but it was definitely an Abyssy, like, Empyrean weapon they were trying to get. Um, maybe even, um, hmm, what were they trying to get? It's possible they were also trying to get, like, uh, like the O-Chain, perhaps, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. It could have been a lot of things, you guys. So let's just move on. I'm really not sure uh, why I took this photo. Maybe I was just testing stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really see. Oh, 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 I know what it is. Additional affected dust lizard falls to the ground. Yes, yes, I got a proc on my um, my dagger. I was playing thief, and I took the uh, dagger from the, uh, the, the event place that you did all of the, um, mm, what's it called? Not Sinister Rain, you guys. It's called, um, it's another thing, though, that's similar to Sinister Rain. It was made by the same clown dude. Like the evil clown dude. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, I don't remember, you guys. But whatever it is, you have to go in and, like, kill all these bosses. And you get all this really cool loot that's worth a lot of money. Uh, you can go in as many times as you want as long as you get a key item. One per alliance leader needs it. And they can get in and do the uh, event. It's a timed event. Uh, there's one zone where you're killing like a bunch of slimes with a bunch of mages and blue mages and are really good in that one. There's another one where you're killing a bunch of Fulmar or like shadow people and, and statues like Dullahan statues, the headless statues, things like that. Hmm, it's on the tip of my tongue but I don't remember the name of it. But whatever the case may be, I got every single one of the items that drop from those raids that I did over several years. 
And then eventually, after completing my collection, I went to go test the dagger, which has the additional effect KO target, right? So you're KOing the target as an additional effect, and it has a pretty low proc rate, but I actually got it to proc here because the additional effect, the dust lizard falls to the ground, is the KO effect. So, uh, I don't remember what the actual description on the dagger is called. I don't even remember what the name of the dagger is. I just know it's from that event, from the Adeline expansion area stuff, one of the dungeons. And, uh, it's a pretty, pretty interesting dagger. Not that good, though. I've only seen a handful of these KO effects on the additional effect on that dagger. So it's really, really low proc rate on it. But it does happen. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, this is a picture of, um... This is a picture I took of a, a, a cutscene where I'm just doing my own thing, I believe, in uh, Whitegate. And inside Whitegate, there's this one quest that you have to do to get, like, um, like captain rank for, uh, for your mythic weapon uh, progression. You need captain rank, and one of the quests, uh, or missions, or whatever it's called, is basically, like, all these chocobos show up in this cutscene, and it's adorable because there are all chocobos everywhere! But, uh, you know, they're just cheap cheaping around, and uh, I just thought it was really, really cool. I really like this, and unfortunately it's a Galka, but I kind of like the fact that it's a Galka in this image because I like the way he's dressed, it's really feathery, and the size difference between him and all the Chocobo chicks is just adorable, you guys. So, I really like this cutscene so much that I took a picture of it. Um, I, I did try it out on my desktop for a while, but it annoyed me that I had some text on the bottom of the screen, so I stopped using it. But that's why I took the screenshot, and so there you have it. Oh, more pictures! And we've got Rongolots in the background! Rongolots is like the gayest dude in the game! Uh, wait, 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 I can't say that! I cannot say that, that's not true! Alright, so he's one of the gayest dudes in the game, but he's not the gayest dude in the game! I don't want to, like, have a bitch fight over who's the gayest dude in Final Fantasy XI, but this is one of them. Um, he's a really cool strict dude, uh, does a lot of really cool quests, and really fun quests, actually. So I like the character. I like the character's name and personality a lot as well. He's just very flamboyant, and that's just interesting to note, I guess. So shout out to Rongolouts. Really cool trust, by the way. You actually get him as a trust as well, so you can run around the zones and fight everything with Rongolouts by your side. Uh, unfortunately, um, the, the Chocobo trust that you get can't actually attack stuff, but it can still follow you around and cheap and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but that's enough for this one, right? Let's move on to the next screenshot. Oh, it's more Chocobos! I can't believe it! Oh my god, they're everywhere! There's too many of them! Holy cow! There's just too many Chocobos! Please, Rongolouts, save me! Save me! I can't handle it! I can't handle it, Rongolouts! Please! Alright, so what else do we got? More pictures of Rongolouts. Oh man, I must really be into this guy, right? Okay, looks like uh, no picture here. Hmm, what else? Hey, we got something! This is back from an old, old server. This is back from uh, my time on Lakshmi server before I moved to Azura, where Shantaro eventually moved to, and I believe Zarsis finally moved there as well. If not, he's still on Lakshmi. One day he'll move. We'll get him. We'll get him one day, you guys. But yeah, so this is early in the morning, and I guess I just took a picture because I was in the same party with these guys right before I moved, and I really wanted uh, uh, to keep some memories, I guess, of my time on Lakshmi. These are my favorite characters and favorite players from, uh, from Lakshmi. And so I guess let's just read the chat together. You got Star Sybil Immortal MAB plus 19 Trust? Pones? I don't understand any of those words except Pones. <laughs> Do you have Trust Star Sybil? <laughs> I don't have Star Sibylin, <laughs> the Immortal. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard right now. Like, I believe it. Shantaru sometimes gets his words twisted up and no one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Zarsis just thinks it's hilarious that I finally called him out on this shit. Where it's like, hey listen, I don't fucking know what you're saying. <laughs> Zarsis is dying. He's probably still dying. He's gonna watch this video and die again. What else do we got? Hmm, Alice's. Alice's is a fantastic character from Lakshmi Server. Everyone in my party here is from Lakshmi server. Shout out to Lakshmi players again. I hope these guys still play. They're fantastic players. Alasis is definitely a completed character. Zarsis is a completed character. Ponzalot is a completed character. We have no more character progression to do. So we are like the best. Flex. Flex. 
that kind of guy. That's what we are. We're the best. So let's read this chat together. This is my time on Lakshmi. Shantaru says, you got Star Civil? Okay, we've already read this part. All right, I'm laughing so hard right now. Let's get to that part. That can't be killed. What immortal? Okay, pass lead. There are trusts that function as geo bubbles, Pones a lot. They cannot be killed and provide area effects. Kurian Geo Accuracy plus 25. Star Sybil are all all one of the Immortal Trusts. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I said this because I was thinking maybe I could kill them, um, but you can't. You really can't. I was pretty new about the trust system when I actually took this screenshot. Hello! So yeah, they cannot be killed. Who's got shields? I need make pop. <laughs> Want leather? Okay, we summoned Star Sybil. Great. Alright. I I might have some. Uh, who many it take one or two a pop? You guys on my stream? Oh, I was streaming when I did this. Hooray! Stream! Yay! Twitch.tv uh, slash overgriff, I believe. Yes, slash O-V-E-R-G-R-Y-P-H. That is my channel. And I stream a, a decent amount for a college student, right? I'm usually on YouTube, though, you guys. So shout out to my YouTube fam. Okay, so yeah, um, Shantaru says he's got six which I guess is some amount of pops. And uh, Zarsis says, I see me, I see me looking at you, looking at me. <laughs> so, so, so there you go. That's what he said. Oh, because he's on my stream. Yeah, that's it. That's why he said that. Okay, makes sense. Okay, all right, all right. So what do we got here? Looks like me and a bunch of Azra dudes are uh, doing some stuff. Fighting it into Willa again, and I'm doing some crazy damage with Thief Rudra Storm. By the way, for those of you who don't know how to beat into Willa, it's quite easy with Thief. You just Rudras, Rudras, do darkness, and it's dead. Yay! Oh, look, it's Kalo Coco. For those of you who don't know, Kalo Coco is slash was my original trust from the um from the uh, uh, companion system that was released years and years and years ago where we had one signal pearl that summoned a trust every few hours and you could refresh it um, with a tactics pearl which you had to do a little quest for and basically it just summoned your adventuring fellow which was your original trust before trusts were ever a thing and so here's a picture of my finished Kalo Coco my Kalo Coco has 400,000 plus fellow points which is like super a lot and it's got everything completed this is like your max level armor you can get for this armor path for her armor that she's wearing i don't know if it's tier 7 or 8 i think it's tier 7 whatever but it's like your your last uh set of armor you could unlock so i got i went them i went with this set and i lock styled it so it doesn't change I also got her some pretty cool goldsmithing spectacles to wear because she's got that pretty little red hair that she's got to flash around everywhere she goes. So this is Kalo Coco. Shout out to Kalo Coco. We had some good times and some not not so good times. But unfortunately, Kalo Coco, I must leave you because there are more screenshots to look at. I'll see you again probably never. Rip, adventuring fellow. All right, so it looks like we're all pointing at something. We're pointing at Nightmare Makara. Everyone in my party is a trust. They're all um, bots that are in my party, and they do emotes when I do emotes, and it's just really fun. Except for Lilliset. Excuse her. You have to excuse Lilliset. She doesn't know how to put her daggers down and actually point, so she's not pointing. Eroa is too hardcore to point, so she's also not pointing. But everyone who matters, we're all pointing at the Nightmare Makara, okay? Because it's very important. To, 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 to point at things when when you want to point your friends have to point otherwise you look silly right so we're all pointing it's great good times oh look I'm being missed <laughs> the Makara is trying to hit me it's not working oh he got a few licks in didn't he well, I was trying to poke him in that last picture okay look this is a picture of me fighting uh, behemoth and I'm doing it next to sovereign behemoth the only way you can get two behemoths in the same screenshot is if you have a group doing the Unity Concord fight, which they recently added to the game, and you also popped the behemoth, which is one per zone uh, per time, so like you can't have two of them up, but they are both behemoth types, so one is a sovereign behemoth, and the other one is a behemoth, 
I that's the best I can do guys I don't have a behemoth mountain that I can hop on and have a third behemoth in this picture so this is the best you got and I believe these guys actually beat the sovereign behemoth congrats ah here we go another picture with me and the sovereign behemoth while I'm fighting the regular behemoth and then I killed the behemoth and I didn't get anything of course of course of course Okay, Sombra Dragon. Uh, I don't know what Sombra Dragon is. Sombra Dragon is, uh, oh, oh, oh. It's in Mora in that event thing that people do all the time called, what's it called? You get Hallmarks as a reward. Ambuscade, that's it. That's the one. You can tell I've not played for a few months, actually. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is a picture of me fighting Sombra Dragon. This is one of the dragons that, if I recall correctly, spawned with an Ahriman, which is a floating eyeball. Uh, and, and the Ahriman was one of the fight fighters. And this was like a shout out. If I recall correctly, this was kind of a mocking, it was kind of mocking the original uh, level 25 fight that you had for uh, mission um, 2 3 or whatever it was, where you had to actually fight the Armin and the Armin summoned the Shadow Dragon and then you had to kill the dragon as well. Uh, and that was that fight for the Shadow Dragon, uh, for the uh, Shadow Lord mission line back in the day that you probably all did. And I believe this was kind of modeled after that. Uh, but unfortunately, the Sombra Dragon's really fucking strong and has this crazy breath attack that does like 70,000 damage. It's just nuts. So yeah, basically one-shot stuff. Hits like a truck. I guess I took this picture because I was fighting this Ambuscade. Uh, this is probably one of the only Ambuscades I actually did on Lakshmi because I moved right around the same time Ambuscades started to be a thing. And I went to Azra around that time. But this is just my old Lakshmi group actually just fighting these things. And as you can see, for an underdog server, we're seriously kicking ass here, you guys. All right. They're just doing just as well as Azra is. Uh, these guys are fantastic players. And they're always going to be fantastic players. I hope they still play. I'd love to see them again. So here we go, doing some skill chains. Uh, I'm trying to get in there with some damage on my shark bite. This was before I got Rudra's Storm. But you can see I took this picture. And I believe this is the last picture on my list because I just cycled back to the Red Mage photo. Yep. So let me just tell you one more note about this picture and then we'll end the video. Okay, so uh, my friend Stellar Vortex has Rudra Storm. I have Shark Bite. My Shark Bite does more damage than his Rudra Storm does. And that's why I took this picture, I believe, because I was trying to prove to everyone that Shark Bite is just as good, if not better, than Rudra Storm. And you could get away with saving your money and not ever unlocking Rudra Storm. Uh, that said, in hindsight, I would definitely <laughs> recommend you get Rudra Storm. But I do also want to point out that Shark Bite, if you gear for it, is just as good or better than Rudra Storm, okay? So just note that, all right? Shark Bite's doing more damage here than Rudra Storm, and in the previous screenshot, I believe it also did more damage. Let's let's get through this picture into the next one, and it should it should render this picture. And I believe that's the same case here, where I have uh, Rudra Storm, do, uh, Alice's another character, not even the same character, uh, doing Rudra Storm. Because remember, Stellar Vortex did the other Rudra Storm. Alice's the overgeared player, like the mythic dude, did Rudra Storm for eleven thousand here. And I did Shark Bite for 12,000. Basically just one-upped him. Barely, but I still did it. So I'm just basically just a shout out to shout out to Shark Bite, you guys, because Shark Bite is underrated. It is a very strong weapon skill for Thief. You should get it, you should learn how to use it, and you should use it well and embarrass all those Rudra Storm snowflakes out there because they need to learn a thing or two from your shark bites. Yep, and that is it for this video, you guys. Um, I was really happy to share all of my screenshots with y'all. Uh, phase 2 rule Azra, still work in progress, but we'll get there, right? Right? Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for your time. Hate these guys, screw these guys, they're bad. And we're not gonna let you torture you guys with the whole thing all over again, so I'm gonna end it here. I appreciate it. Peace out.